Right now, we have a three-quarter mile trail complete, more towards the eastern side of Over the Rhine on McMicken Avenue and more towards uh, Liberty. But we have signage throughout Over the Rhine and we have these little metal or um, decorative pucks in the ground that indicate where a building or event occurred that is important to our historical uh, brewing heritage here in Cincinnati. We would like to have approximately two mile trail complete moving this direction. So a lot of the funds go towards that endeavor, but it's also to really share the history of this neighborhood and how important Over the Rhine really is to Cincinnati uh, for the culture, the food, the beer, and everything that the Germans brought to us. So we like to share those stories. Uh, my favorite part is helping people understand that uh, Cincinnati really is integral to the brewing heritage of the United States. At one time, one of our brewers was the fourth largest in the United States. People don't understand how significant we were to the brewing industry here. And then helping people just learn more about their own city and getting out into this neighborhood and realizing how much there is to do here. We do tours throughout the year during the day, Wednesday through Sunday. And we do tours that go into three different lagering tunnels. Some of our tours include a brunch. Those are on Sundays. Uh, right now, all of our tours except the dark side end with a beer in a brewery. So everybody gets a pint. The name of this tour is called the dark side of brewing. We're gonna be learning a lot about mysterious activities, deaths, and other such topics during the night. You're on the inaugural year for this tour. It will run, it ran from like the last week of September and it will end the first week of November, I believe. So tonight you're gonna to be seeing a lot of buildings that were dedicated to brewing. We'll be going into a lagering tunnel that was built in the 1850s underneath of one of the larger brewing buildings that we still have left in our inventory. We'll be going into an old theater that was built in 1912 where we're gonna hear the story about an old vaudeville performer who liked to attempt to kill the men in her life that made her angry. So we'll be seeing different types of buildings, architecture, and hearing different stories of unfortunate events that happened in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Might hear about a serial killer, you know, just various stories like that.